Interesting facts about famous people. Randolph Scott's westerns, undoubtedly one of the greatest screen cowboys of all time. Scott rivaled the best of the greatest stars of the genre, making 62 westerns. In 1947, Randolph Scott made a decision. He would only make westerns. He had tried his hand at other genres. He tried comedy and held his own in war films, but he always seemed an outsider. He had started in westerns in 1932 and by 47 had already done 24 of them. It is telling that in Blazing Saddles, whenever his name is mentioned, the cowboys doff their hats and bow their heads. Here are some of Randolph's most notable westerns. The Last of the Mohicans, 1936. During the French and Indian War, the legendary scout Hawkeye is called upon to escort Major Duncan Haywood and the two daughters of Fort William Henry Commander Colonel Munro, Alice and Cora. Jesse James, 1939. After railroad agents forcibly evict the James family from their family farm, Jesse and Frank turn to train robbery as revenge. Virginia City, 1940. Union officer Kerry Bradford escapes from Confederate prison and is sent to Virginia City, Nevada, where he finds out that the former commander of his prison, Vance Irby, is planning to send $5 million in gold to save the Confederacy. Western Union, 1941. When Edward Crichton leads the construction of the Western Union to unite East with West, he hires a reformed outlaw and a tenderfoot Eastern surveyor. Hangman's Knot, 1952. A Confederate major and his troops are falsely led to believe the Civil War is not over and become wanted men after they attack a Union Army wagon train in Nevada. Seven Men From Now, 1956. A former sheriff blames himself for his wife's death during a Wells Fargo robbery and vows to track down and kill the seven men responsible. The Tall T, 1957. An independent former ranch foreman is kidnapped along with an heiress, held for ransom by a trio of ruthless outlaws. Ride Lonesome, 1959. A bounty hunter, Randolph Scott, escorts a killer, James Best, to be tried for murder, but allows the man's outlaw brother, Lee Van Cleef, to catch up with them to have a showdown over a previous murder. Comanche Station, 1960. A man saves a woman who had been kidnapped by Comanches, then struggles to get both of them home alive. Ride the High Country, 1962. An ex-Union soldier is hired to transport gold from a mining community through a dangerous territory. But what he doesn't realise is that his partner and old friend is plotting to double cross him. Thanks for your time today. I hope you liked the video. Drop me your comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. It helps me a lot. Bye for now.